Hello and uh, welcome to our annual Biz Awards for 2020. Uh, you're invited to join us for the next 30 minutes as we celebrate the very best of business success in Surrey and Hampshire. What makes our Business Awards special? Well, uh, to begin with, they're free and easy to enter uh, and our nominated finalists are all independently judged. More on that shortly. Our awards are also about this area, our area. They're about Surrey and North East Hampshire. In a moment, I'm going to hand you over to Eagle Radio's breakfast, uh, Bev Hunter. Bev once again has overseen uh, our Biz Awards and she'll be telling you more about the different categories and will also be introducing you to our independent judges for this year. Before that, there's a few things I wanted to share with you about Biz Surrey and Hampshire, if you're joining us for the first time. Biz Surrey and Hampshire was created by Eagle Radio two years ago with the aim of providing support to businesses operating in this local area. As well as hosting regular training and networking events, we now have over a thousand members. Uh, Biz also has its own website pages, hosting local features, interviews and podcasts, all about business in Surrey and Hampshire. And now Biz also has its own radio stream. That's right, you can listen to Eagle Biz all day, every day, through your PC or your smartphone. It's very easy to find through the Eagle app and on the Biz pages of our website. OK, back to today. And it's an absolute pleasure to welcome you to our awards. Uh, and I'm now going to hand over to Bev Hunter. And Bev will tell you more about those award categories and this year's judging panel. Over to you, Bev. Good afternoon. I'm so pleased we've been able to proceed with the Biz Awards this year, with winners to be announced today in all 10 categories. And the categories are Entrepreneur of the Year, sponsored by Gleason Property Maintenance, Startup of the Year, sponsored by Woking Works, Employee of the Year, Customer Service Award, sponsored by Project 5, The Green Award, Community Consideration Award, sponsored by Active Learning, Digital Innovation, Charity and Social Enterprise of the Year, the Leadership Award, and the Business of the Year Award, sponsored by our partners, Surrey and Hampshire Chamber of Commerce. And at this point, I'd like to introduce our three independent judges and thank them for their involvement and time. Our first judge stood in at the very last minute, so a huge thank you for that. Tracy Jarvis is founder and CEO of award-winning charity, the Community Matters Partnership Project. Tracy and her team work with a dynamic collaboration of 55 business partners in Surrey and Hampshire to help transform local communities through a variety of corporate volunteering programmes. CMPP utilises the talents of around 17,000 corporate volunteers who provide helping hands, skills, expertise and time in their communities through their corporate volunteering entitlements. Tracy is also the creator of The Looking Glass, a contemporary creative network for ambitious women to meet, share ideas and generate new business. Thank you, Tracy. Our second judge joining us again this year is Louise Punter. Now, Louise became Chief Executive of Surrey Chambers of Commerce following 17 years working in manufacturing and business services. After a five-year career break from Metal Box, she then spent three years as the Marketing Director of an international conformity assessment organisation, Bureau Veritas. To ensure strong representation of Surrey businesses, Louise sits on many different boards, including the Employment and Skills Board, the Civilian Military Partnership Board, and works with the Economic Development Departments of the County and Borough Councils. Her passion is to help businesses at every stage of their development by connecting them, promoting them, supporting them, and representing their voice to government. Thank you for your involvement, Louise. Our third judge is Tom Colbeck. Tom's role at Hampshire Chamber of Commerce is to support membership and the local business community by offering solutions to suit their organisation and help raise their profile. Tom often attends internal and external networking events to generate new business and engage with like-minded individuals. 
After starting as an apprentice at Hampshire Chamber over five years ago, he has completed a degree apprenticeship in business leadership and management, which has helped enhance his business knowledge, skills and behaviours. Tom enjoys seeing innovative organisations thrive and succeed within the community. Thank you, Tom. And now I'd like to welcome your host for the 2020 Biz Awards, a chap who you may well wake up to, as I do, weekday mornings from six o'clock, Mr Peter Gordon. Good afternoon all and thank you for joining us at this, our sixth annual Biz Awards. This year, in far more challenging times, we've still seen many entries from successful local businesses, which shows that just by being a finalist is reason to celebrate your business success. Congratulations. Now, let's get straight on with our awards and on to our first category. Entrepreneur of the Year. This award recognises a person who's demonstrated great ability in starting, growing and sustaining a successful business and is sponsored by Gleason Property Maintenance. And the finalists are Simon Cook, ACC UK Limited, Farnborough. Martin Booth, Laboo Media, Surrey. And Rachel Morrissey, Morrissey Elite Global Group, Aldershot. And the winner is Simon Cook. ACC UK Limited was born in August 2003 after Simon became disheartened when the garage he was working for consistently gave its customers poor customer service coupled with exorbitant service bills. In 2007, custom-built premises were purchased after five years of year-on-year -year growth. ACC has built their business on the solid foundations of value for money and great customer service. The business has continued to go from strength to strength despite the economic downturn and recent uncertainty and has enjoyed year-on-year -year growth. Well done, Simon. Now, on to our next award this afternoon, the Startup of the Year, sponsored by Woking Works. This award recognises a new business that has shown significant growth in its first 18 months and potential for sustained growth. And the finalists are... Cape Plowright, Selling Savvy, Godalming, and Unimed, Cobham. And the winner is Selling Savvy. Selling Savvy specialises in increasing sales revenue and conversion rates specifically within hospitality and events. Working in hotels and event venues with the Director of Sales and their team, they deliver regular interactive training workshops specifically designed for reactive sales teams. They also offer regular mentoring programmes where they work with proactive team members on sales strategy and time management. Congratulations! OK, on to the next award now, which is Employee of the Year. Now, this award recognises an employee who continually goes above and beyond with their job role, making exceptional contributions to the business. And the finalists are... Alex Dixon, Home Instead Senior Care Guildford and Woking. Kimberly Rogers, KPC Creative Communication, Farnham. And Amanda Hill, Phyllis Tuckwell Hospice Care, West Surrey and North East Hampshire. And the winner is... Alex Dixon. Alex joined Home Instead Senior Care Guildford and Woking in March 2014 and has undertaken more than 6,000 hours of care during this time. She's an excellent example of their service provision and has been a committed employee in all the types of care they provide. Her character and commitment to each client ensures that they feel safe and calm after she leaves them, whatever the circumstances. Amazing work, Alex. Well done. And now, here's our next award, and this one is the Customer Service Award, sponsored by Project 5. Now, this award recognises an organisation that seeks to engage customers and deliver exceptional standards of service. The finalists in this category are First Gear Motorcycle Training Centre, Farnborough, Red Sentence Limited, Ripley, and Cell Electrical Limited, Bookham. And the winner is... First Gear Motorcycle Training Centre, Farnborough. Over the past 20 years, First Gear has been at the forefront of providing friendly and professional motorcycle training to Surrey and Hampshire. Having now trained more than 24,000 new riders from the ages of 16 to 69, both male and female, much of their continuing success is down to the customer service and rapport they build with each individual student. 
From the first inquiry, they ensure each customer's training needs are tailored to suit their busy life schedules. Congratulations. Now, just to mention, if you're on social media, do use the hashtag BizAwards and you'll be able to follow the awards that way too. Now, on to the next award, which is the Green Award. This award recognises a company that's demonstrated outstanding environmental and sustainability practice. And the finalists are... Julia Lampard Salon, Guildford, and Okomoko, the Eco Hub, Farnham. And the winner is... Okomoko, the Eco Hub, Farnham. Okomoko have a zero waste store for all your refilling needs, a clothing exchange to promote sustainable fashion, a plastic free gift shop, and a wellness room that is home to around 10 different local natural health practitioners. They have Reiki, meditation, reflexology, and craft workshops happening throughout each week. They're passionate about the environment, sustainability and showing people it's not too hard to think more eco in all aspects of your life. Congratulations, well done to you. So the next award is the Community Consideration Award, sponsored by Active Learning. And the finalists are... Forefront Group Egham, Call Quick Printers, Farnham, Muddy Fingers, Bramley. And the winner is... Call Quick Printers. Call Quick Farnham are a print and design company who have been in Farnham for 36 years. They still have clients that came to them for their printing when they first were established. They support local schools and colleges with print and design at no cost and support local charities including Woodlarks, Helen Arkell, Chicks, Challenges and Phyllis Tuckwell as well as many local initiatives. Huge congratulations to Call Quick. It's time for the Digital Innovation Award now, and this award recognises organisations who've demonstrated innovative use of digital technology to improve their business. And the finalists are... KPC Creative Communication, Farnham. Your local car, Camberley. Phyllis Tuckwell Hospice Care, West Surrey and North East Hampshire. And the winner is... Your local car. Your local car has invested in a brand new booking app that represents everything your local car is about. It's simple to use, offers transparent pricing and keeps our customers informed at every stage of their booking. The app puts fast, convenient, private car booking at customers' fingertips with real-time features from an instant quote for their journey to literally seeing where their taxi is on a map, all on their mobile device. Well done, your local car. Our next award is the Charity Social Enterprise of the Year. And this award recognises a charity or non-profit making organisation that's demonstrated exceptional work. And here come the finalists. Scorchers Basketball Foundation, Guildford. Guildford Street Angels. And the Fountain Centre, Guildford. And the winner is... Guildford Street Angels. Guildford Street Angels have been providing a friendly nighttime patrol since 2008, with almost 100 faithful volunteers. Dedicated teams go out every single Friday and Saturday evening, 10:30 p.m. to 4 a.m., to offer care and compassion to anyone who finds themselves vulnerable. Well done, and thank you for the amazing work you do. Moving on now to the penultimate award of the afternoon. It's the Leadership Award. And this recognises an employer, a leader, who has demonstrated exceptional leadership qualities. And the finalists are... Carol Blackford Mills, MRS Digital Fleet. Peter White, your local car, Camberley. And Simon Cook, ACC UK Limited, Farnborough. And the winner is... Carol Blackford Mills, MRS Digital Fleet. Carol could see that website design was very niche in 1999. But was her lack of experience in the field going to put her off? Absolutely not. While her children were busy with activities or sleeping, Carol would pick up a book and learn everything there was to know about website design. Armed with the determination to succeed, passion in her blood and the knowledge she had, Carol picked up a yellow pages, began to cold call and win clients. These days, Carol's business card title reads Director of Exceptionally Talented People, something that she nails every day. Carol treats each staff member like a family member. 
She understands that they each have their own feelings and life challenges, embracing this instead of shying away. Generous with her time, Carol makes every team member feel listened to, loved, cared for, and so valued. So well done and congratulations again to all our winners and finalists. It's uh, been a fantastic thing to still be able to celebrate local business success, albeit in a rather different guise this year. It's now time for our final award, and that is the Business of the Year Award, sponsored by our partners, Surrey and Hampshire Chambers of Commerce. And as always, this was a strongly contested category, but the three finalists this year are... Home Instead Senior Care Guildford and Woking, KPC Creative Communication Farnham, and Blacknest Golf and Country Club. And the winner is Blacknest Golf and Country Club. Blacknest Golf and Country Club is a family run business that has provided the local community with a venue, golf course, cafe, gym, and many other facilities for the last nine years since it was purchased. In the last two years, they've seen development in many areas of the business, enhancing the 100-acre parkland course, installing new equipment and systems, and the purchase of the Woodlands Teepee for use as a wedding and party venue throughout the summer, and they're just a small sample of the ideas being put into place by the owners. Their welcoming atmosphere, modern clubhouse and excellent facilities are really breaking the stigma of traditional golf clubs and they're proud to be a growing business in the Hampshire and Surrey area. Huge congratulations then to Blacknest Golf and Country Club. And again, congratulations to all finalists in this year's awards. So that brings our Virtual Biz Awards ceremony to an end. Thank you for joining us and a huge congratulations uh, to all of our winners. You'll be able to find further coverage of today's awards over the coming days by listening to Eagle Radio and by going to the biz pages on our website. Thank you to our award sponsors, to our judges and to PG for hosting our event today. And of course for Bev for hosting the Biz Awards.